You're welcome back. This is News File, your most authoritative news analysis show brought to you by Sasso Spray, so fresh and so powerful. It's also brought to you by MTN. Everywhere you will go, welcome to the new world and Bank of Africa. That is your bank that is the strongest a group and close as a partner. And of course, Cowbell Coffee. Now, I'm doing a minute each as we have agreed here on the panel on the suits against Nana Adodankwa Akufuado by Alex Doe and George Spencer Quay, who are sympathizers or activists of the National Democratic Congress. When we are done with that, we'll deal with Muntaka. Mm. Muntala, who has been invited to the presidency over his comments of clandestine moves to remove him as an MP. Now, this suit was filed... Uh, was it uh, was filed on the 4th, okay? Or was it really on the 4th? Okay. It was filed in the course of the week. I can't see the date properly. But it is asking for the court to make certain declarations. And the declarations include, <coughs> number one, a declaration that the defendant, who is Nanado Dankwa Akufuado, having resigned as the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration in July 2007, ought to return the vehicle and not keep same for private use for close to 20 uh, calendar months. 20 calendar months between July 2007 and 8th January 2009. Basically, they are saying that after Nanado had resigned to contest the MPP flag bearership and continue to campaign, he still kept and used state vehicles. You remember not too long ago, Occupy Ghana sued uh, Dr. Otinga J, is it, to <clears throat> pay to the state at the market value for renting a car because he had used that car when he was still not a minister. And they have done a similar thing. So they are asking that this... Uh, the defendant to pay the determined sum together with interest at the prevailing bank rates from 2007 up to the date of payment in 2015 or after in the consolidated fund and e any further orders um, I have a question if this suit is in the national interest or it is seeking a judicial you know endorsement of a nuisance propaganda. What do you say, Kweku? <laughs> uh, let me, let me. Say. The, no, no, the one, release. This one, this one. Okay, yeah. Well, you are the lawyers. Mm. I don't know. There's only one defendant here. Yes, that's Leonardo. They didn't have to add the AG. I don't know. I'm just asking. Well, they didn't have to. You choose your victim. <laughs> uh, I see, mm. because I've called the Occupy Ghana one. I think the AG is attached as a nominal defendant. I was thinking maybe that should have come in here too. Mm. I am not going to contest the right of any citizen or group of citizens to initiate this kind of action in the court of law. At least they haven't taken up cutlasses and guns. Mm. So it is within the democratic uh, culture. I have nothing against that. The same way I endorse the Otina J case. Uh, would let the courts decide. I don't know what facts they have because you must present to the courts records and facts that establish. In Otin Ajay's case, he publicly conceded and said he had returned the vehicle. So it was clear on the surface. I'm not too sure about this one. I'm deliberately staying away from going to the details because I, I would wish the gentleman to have their day in court and let the litigation bring out uh, finality mm. it will be very interesting for Ghanaians. Okay, the now, integrity of Akufuado, as far as I know, will remain intact mm. by then. 
Okay. Now, what, what do you also say? Oh, well, I mean, obviously it's in court. Um, not because judges will be influenced by what we say here, but so that we don't um, contribute to the erosion of uh, the sanctity of the court. It's a public Let's interest matter. In Let's people. not gag ourselves. Yes, yes. <laughs> but, but I think that um, the Constitution has assigned that job to some persons, and we'll leave it at that. But I am just um, excited that at least, contrary to what others do elsewhere, we have continuously exhibited our confidence in the courts. And wherever I get the opportunity, I say that if ever God ever blessed us with anything, resource, then it's because not only has he granted us an independent judiciary, mm. but independent-minded judges. Judges, okay. And so it doesn't matter how awesome you are, maybe if you are a electoral commission, if your case is is right if the facts you present and the law are on your side then you should have no fear go before the court but with the new arrangement that we have under our rules first question is bring your documents this, this is a matter that may turn on just the first question be it could what be what does the limitation decree say it, it, or it, the limitation act say that is about how you can take an action of this sort <laughs> yes. after six years yes that is that is the first but it's the first consideration by you yourself the lawyer before you even go to I, court i may even, I say, it, yes, but then if i'm on the other side mm. i would even not raise that point at that time it's a legal issue which may be raised at any point in time mm. but if you want to embarrass the other side further mm. let them comply with the new rules, file all your documents, mm. because the question is whether or not okay. a vehicle was given to the gentleman, mm -hmm. and whether or not it was returned, mm. or he was required to return it, mm -hmm. and whether mm. or not indeed it was returned. If the first question is answered in the negative, no other question in my view will be asked. Okay, and the case may, may just cease there. Thank you very mm. much. Now, yeah. what do you say, That's Gabby? It. Without even getting into the technicalities of the Limitation Act, this case was dead at conception. <laughs> I would want to state so categorically, <laughs> okay, without any fear of prejudice, that Nanado did not take any state vehicle with him when he left the office. I want to state that categorically. Oh, but there was yeah, a I'm point, there was a time when he, he told, I think, that Mahama Yaragai, who also relate to all of us, that he had returned the vehicles. Let me tell so you. So if you say he did not. The Mahama Yaragai matter you are talking about mm. is... On August 17, 2009, mm -hmm. I believe it was on Joy FM. Let me read it to you. Okay, Just quickly, a little bit. Quickly. Presidency apologizes to Nanado over seizure of his car. Two paragraphs. The presidency has apologized to the flag bearer of the MPP, Nanado Kufuad, for the wrong seizure of a vehicle belonging to him. Presidential spokesperson Mahama Mayaga said the president was very sorry for the incident and would return the vehicle. That is what is on record. That his vehicle was wrongfully seized, and eventually they said that he should come back for his vehicle. So if it's the same vehicle that the state itself admitted was wrongfully seized, that they are now going for it is a different. Unless of, is it, then, then I don't think I have to add anything to it. Unless, see. of course, they've gone to, to mm. somehow create other vehicles. <laughs> I think this is a, this is a, this is a writ number. This is a writ that was cooked in the kitchen of the propaganda unit of the $20 million NDC headquarters. Certainly not. Spiced at a money boy Certainly shop. not. Garnished there. Please, please, please. please. Not. Don't be mentioning your money boy here. Coming. He's no, not please. here to defend please. himself. This is an NDC matter. And, it's sorry, an NDC no, matter. No, sorry, no, it's sorry. not. It's not. Gabby, Gabby, don't okay. do that. Me, okay. It's not. He's not here These to defend himself. These are two citizens who are going to court to seek redress. Let me just rephrase it. In my opinion. But quickly, because you're done. In my opinion, in my opinion, this case is cooked at a propaganda unit of the NDC headquarters, somehow garnished by the propaganda unit of the party, served through the mass media, and perhaps the bill will be paid with tips by the Flagstaff House. So, but wh whatever okay. it is, Sorry, it is, thank you. it is, it is, thank you. That's it is, it is, it is, it is, you are the, you are the ones who agree that you are doing one minute on <laughs> this. Yes. But I finished, I've done my one minute. So thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, now, Dr. Park, you are familiar <laughs> with, you are familiar with going to court, particularly yes, the Supreme Court, several. and getting uh, judgments in your in favor. In my favor, that is uh, right. You, don't you think that this is, is, is in the national interest, that, People feel that someone has done something wrong, they go to the court to question it. Obviously, I truly believe that contrary to uh, what uh, Gabby is positing, uh, these are citizens who have an obligation uh, under our Constitution uh, 
uh, to bring forward and seek interpretation, interpretation uh, as, as granted to them by the uh, Article 41, the rule of uh, duties of a citizen. F. Uh, yes, and I want to read that. It, it, it goes on and on, but this is the part. To protect and preserve public property and expose and combat misuse mm. and waste of public funds and property. So if citizens have reason to believe that a former minister of state by virtue of having decided to contest the flag bearership of his party, had resigned his position and kept public property, they have every reason mm. to bring this to court. Absolutely. So to try and Gabi, eight years. Gabi, uh, okay. well, six to, years. Try, <laughs> to try and suggest that this honorable effort by citizens <laughs> to get us to do the right thing as public officials, both today and those who were in public office in the past, mm -hmm. as granted them by the Constitution, is a pure propaganda ploy by a political party. It certainly cannot be fair, particularly when the person involved used to be the chief public prosecutor of this country. Mm. So I think that there is, you, you there is a reason. You have led lawyers a few times to the court. That is uh, it. Don't they tell you about making sure that you plead your case in such a way that it will not fall under the category the rules will call frivolous, vexatious, and abuse of mm -hmm. the process mm -hmm. because of the language that you use. If you have read uh, <coughs> the I language of the read read read. portions about the way they seek to describe Nanado. Well, to be honest with you, I have not read the rate, okay. so I okay. wouldn't be able right. to, to so, pass, to so, pass the okay. But, you know, I mm. had a case before which was described as frivolous. Right. And I won. And he succeeded. Thank so, you. So don't, don't just dismiss it. Thank you very much. Thank until you. Until they get their day. Right. Thank you.